So with Google Stadia now set to come to a close early next year, many gamers out there are probably left wondering what will happen to their years of progress across Stadia's library of games. Well, thankfully, your saves are actually going to be perfectly safe and can be easily moved to a PC. Here's how you can export and download your game saves from your Stadia account to use on Steam or Epic Games on your PC and your Mac. We're going to show you how to do it. Thanks for watching 95 Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. Like every other app or service offered by Google, you're actually freely allowed to export your data from Stadia using a service called Google Takeout. And this should this process should be valid up to the official shutdown of the Stadia platform, but might even work beyond that if Google does keep the data on your account for a few months before it is officially removed. That said, let's head over to, over to the PC and we'll show you a quick rundown of how to use Google Takeout to download your game saves and your game screenshots and captured media and where to find them once exported. So now we're on the PC, what you need to do is you're gonna to need to open Google Takeout, the web application. Just go to your web browser and, or even search in Google for that and make sure you're logged into the Google account you have used with Google Stadia. The first thing you want to do here is click the deselect all button as you probably don't want all of your Google account data from all of the services, just the Stadia portion. Now you'll need to scroll down and find and select Stadia. Either just scroll down the list until you find Stadia or use Control and F to search for that. Once you've found it, click the checkbox to select you want to download your Stadia data. Next, scroll down and click that next step button. Using the drop down box below the delivery method that which will pop up, you can choose how you wish to save your Stadia export. By default, you will receive them as links in an email, but you can save them to Google Drive, Microsoft OneDrive, or even Dropbox if you wish. From here though, you'll actually want to choose what export to receive your exported data in. The default settings of zip and two gigabytes are probably gonna be your best bet, but you can change these as I have here if you do know what you're doing. Once you're happy with these settings, click Create Export to begin the takeout process. Google Takeout, though, is sadly not a rapid process, so this might not happen instantly for you. Depending on the size of your Stadia export, which is determined by how many screenshots and videos you've saved, along among other things, this process can take a few minutes, hours, or even days. Thankfully, in our experiences, our personal Stadia backups only take a couple of minutes to complete, and that email will drop right into your Gmail account. And once your backup is ready, you should receive that email with the download links to your exported Stadia data from Google Takeout. These may be valid for a few weeks or even a few days, depending on when you've done this. If you choose a cloud backup service, your files will just already be there in place. Depending on how many videos you've saved over the years, this backup may be much larger than you expected. For convenience though, Google will split your files up into separate zip files if you have stuck to that two gigabyte limit or increase that as you see fit. Unfortunately though, and confusingly, the saves aren't necessarily organized into the same zip. So you'll need to check each one individually if you have chosen this minimum limit. So this step now will need to extract the zip and this will look a little bit different for everyone depending on your operating system of choice. On almost any modern computer, you can just simply double click or right click the zip you've downloaded and this will either open it or show you its contents or extract it immediately. Next though, you'll need to copy and extract that include takeout folder to somewhere easily accessible on your computer. We'd always suggest putting that on your desktop as it is really, really easy to find. Open the takeout folder that you have just copied and inside open the folder labeled Stadia. Next, you'll see three folders, user, social, and gaming. What you'll need is to open that gaming folder. From here, you'll find five or more folders. Go ahead and just open the one labeled game save. And within this, you'll find exported saves for every Stadia game that you've ever played and made a save file for. Find the game that you want to copy a save for, which is in our case is gonna be Cyberpunk 2077, and look for any zip files with the game name in them. Each of these zip files contains a single saved game and games that do multiple auto saves like Cyberpunk 2077 or an Assassin's Creed title might have multiple zips. In the latter case, the zip file with the highest number is the name likely to be your most recent save file, but you can open these and look at the PNG file to see if there is a preview of this on games like Cyberpunk, for instance. 
From here, you can copy this, but you may need to rename the file in the case of Cyberpunk to ensure that it is recognized by the title. An easy way to find out the format though is to open up a game, make a manual save, and then copy that format that is already saved on your PC for these cloud game save files. The actual process of importing a save might be a little bit trickier and will vary wildly from game to game. In the case of Cyberpunk 2077, your game save should be located on your PC's user folder under Save Games CD Projekt Red Cyberpunk 2077. While the developer's support pages actually claim that the two platform saves are incompatible, many of us, and us here, have found that to be untrue. For other games though, you'll need to find where the saved games are kept on your PC version and copy those files directly there. We think that Reddit and the Steam community are always the best places to search for this kind of info, so definitely use them if you're confused as to where your saved game files are kept. Regardless of which game you're importing though, it's likely you're not immediately going to unlock all of the achievements that you've earned on Stadia, but your save progress will be intact. And as you can see here, we're playing Cyberpunk 2077 with a save file from Stadia imported over to PC with absolutely no problems. Some of you are wondering, what if you use a service like GeForce Now? Well, you might need to use a local machine or another cloud service like Shadow or Plutosphere if you don't have a PC capable of running any of these games to what is effectively download your save file and then upload them to those cloud services. It's worth opening up your game saves individually uh, in each title to ensure that everything does get backed up fully. And then another way to really make sure that that is the case is to resave the game at that point. That will surely help you and make sure that everything gets saved up to the cloud. But hopefully this has helped you get your files from Stadia, your save files, and get them working on your PC games so that you can use them across a wide variety of services. That said, I hope this has helped you. If it has, leave a comment down below. As always though, this is Damien with 9to5Google, and I will speak to you later.